So, in this task 25, about equivalent inductance, we have two coils, and each coil has a, has a respective inductance of 1 millihenry, and they are either connected in series or in parallel, and we are interested of the total inductance of these two coils. So, let me use blue for task A. Uh, wha wha what, do, what do you suggest? How do we calculate this total inductance in uh, subtask A if the two coils are connected in series? It's just the sum of the two, so L1 plus L2, and if we have 1 milli and 1 milli connected, uh, then we should get 2 milli Henry. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> As said, simple task. Um, in part B, can these two get calculated by multiplying L1 and L2 and dividing that by L1 plus L2? Yeah, so we we have the same equation as for resistors, so we could say, okay, it's 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2, and then 1 over this, and if we expand this fraction with L1 and L2 in the numerator, um, we get L1 and L2, and if we do it in the denominator, the L1 will cancel here, L2 will cancel there, so we will get L1 plus L2, and if we insert the values here, exactly, we will get half of them. So we will get 0 0.5 millihenry in this case. Um, yeah, so inductances behave, let's say, like resistors. So if you, if you connect them in series, inductance will add up. If you connect them in parallel, inductance will decrease. Um, why do inductors behave like resistors this way? And why do capacitances behave the opposite way? Um, I have forgotten the formulas because uh, R is U divided by I and C is uh, Q divided by U, which is A times C divided by U. Yeah, so if we have resistance, resistance is voltage divided by current. If we have capacitance, um, capacitance is discussed, is charge divided by voltage, and charge is something like um, yeah, uh, current over some time. We have current flowing over some time. So here we have it exactly the opposite way. The current is on top, the voltage is in the denominator, and inductance is is, is flux divided by the current, and air flux. At least, if looking at the units, is also something like um, oh no, here it's not. It should not be. It, it, it's ampere second at the end, but of course it's current multiplied with time. So here it's also something like voltage multiplied with time divided by current. And so because we have here voltage and voltage at the top and current and current at the bottom of this fraction, resistances and inductances behave similar when doing this series and parallel connection and the capacitor is exactly opposite. So remember last week if you connect capacitors in series, the total capacitance gets smaller, here it gets larger. Uh, if you connect capacitors in parallel, total capacitance gets larger, here total inductance gets smaller once again. 